a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, more commonly known as ADHD, affects millions of people around the world. If you don't have any symptoms yourself, then there's a high likelihood you have someone in your life who's been affected by ADHD to some degree. Yet despite its prevalence, self-documentation on the experience of living with ADHD seems sparse. After being diagnosed with ADHD, today's speaker, Jessica McCabe, went on a journey to learn more about her condition, eventually creating the successful YouTube channel, How to ADHD. Today, she shares what she discovered from her journey and how she now uses that wisdom to teach everyone about ADHD. If you're not familiar with ADHD, it has three primary characteristics. Inattention, impulsivity, and hyperactivity. Some people with ADHD have more of the inattentive presentation. Those are the daydreamers, the space cadets. Some have more of the hyperactive, impulsive presentation. A lot of what I found, though, was either super technical or seemed like it was written for parents and teachers trying to deal with ADHD kids. There wasn't a lot that seemed intended for us, the people who have ADHD. So I started a YouTube channel. So at some point, you're going to meet someone with ADHD. Work with them, give birth to them, or fall in love with them. Chances are, you already have. After having the honor of connecting with researchers and doctors and ADHD experts and tens of thousands of ADHD brains all over the world. What can I tell you to help you understand ADHD? First of all, it's real. It's not bad parenting or lack of discipline. ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder. And there are actually measurable differences in the brain. Adults have ADHD, too. While rates of ADHD diagnosis are increasing, it's not because of an increase in sugar or technology or <laughs> lack of spanking. ADHD is more serious than I realized. The primary characteristics in uh, inattention, impulsivity and hyperactivity don't sound all that serious, and I didn't think that they were, but in real life, they translate to people getting more into more accidents, being more likely to get fired, significantly more likely to struggle with addiction. While everyone experiences ADHD symptoms sometimes, an actual diagnosis is based on how many of those symptoms significantly and chronically impair multiple aspects of your life. Current understanding is that this difficulty has to do with the way our brains produce and metabolize neurotransmitters, like dopamine. I learned ADHD is highly treatable. Stimulant medication helps us focus. It's very effective for around 80% of people with ADHD. Medication isn't enough. It impairs executive functions like planning, prioritizing, and ability to sustain effort toward a goal. It affects our ability to regulate our emotions, our behavior, our sleep. It's not one program in our brain that it works differently. It's the whole operating system. Cognitive behavioral therapy, coaching, even meditation or regular exercise can make a huge difference. Understanding your brain. What I didn't expect to learn? That I wasn't alone. I had an ADHD tribe. What a difference it would make to connect with it. There are people with ADHD in every country, every culture across the globe. ADHD brains have a lot to offer the world. We tend to be generous, funny, creative. We not only think outside the box, we're often not even aware there is a box. <laughs> we may struggle when our brains aren't engaged. How did I reach my potential? Three things. One, I learned about my brain, my ADHD brain, both on my own and by connecting with others who have it. If you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid, unless it happens to chat with another fish and realizes fish aren't great at climbing trees, and that's okay. There's plenty of ocean. Two, in learning about my brain, I found and stumbled into a job that engages it. It turns out, I can be me and still be successful. Three, I learned strategies for the challenges I still face. Once you know what your brain's challenges are, you can find solutions to them. Once you look 
past the stereotypes and assumptions about people with ADHD and dig deeper, you learn what ADHD actually is. It's not about procrastinating or not caring. It's having executive function deficits that make it hard to get started. And it's not people being lazy or not trying enough. It's kids and adults struggling to succeed with a brain that doesn't always want to cooperate in a society that wasn't built for them. So what I'm trying to do is reach out to these people, wherever they are in the world, and tell them, you are not weird. You are not stupid. You do not need to try harder. You are not a failed version of normal. You are different. You are beautiful. And you are not alone. If you don't have ADHD yourself, chances are you know somebody who does. They're your employee, your boss, your friend. They're in this room. I hope this talk helps you understand them better. If you do have ADHD, welcome to the tribe. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Bratislava, Slovakia. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Bratislava. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Jessica's talk and more at ted.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.